All right, so week 16, at least as we've been following along of the chosen behind the scenes for season four, we're getting to the very end. We've only got about one week left of BTS, maybe even like half a week. Yeah, not very much left. There's supposed to originally be 72 days, and I think we're at like day 70 or 68 or something. So only about a week left of filming, and then they'll be done with season four completely, and then they'll have to go into editing and background stuff and audio stuff and making sure everything's finalized and perfect. Dallas has already said that they're actually almost done with the first four episodes, which is like mind-blowing to me, but they've done that so fast because they've been shooting episodically, which means that episode one was done like in week 12 or something something of filming so it's been done for quite a while they've been working on it behind the scenes doing post-production and all of that stuff so let's dive into week 16 of the behind the scenes there's some really interesting things here including a bunch of stuff with lazarus and possibly mother mary so let's dive in let's check this out and let's get into it here we go So I know that was really quick, but we see a woman um, going from a table to go answering a door. We know from later clips in this section here that this is most likely the home of either Martha or Lazarus. Um, most likely Lazarus because he would be the one that actually owns the home, right? If, especially if they're all living at the same location. Um, but if this is Lazarus' home... Most likely we see either Mary or Martha going from the table and going to the door to answer it. My guess is that this is probably someone coming to the door telling them that Lazarus is either super, super sick or that he has just passed away. Um, I, I don't know. Could be either. We don't have much context in this, and they've intentionally kind of not shown us exactly what's kind of going on here. But that's day 65 right here. We're going to skip ahead a little bit to day 67 right after this to show you a little bit more of the interior of this house and keep on going. <laughs> So here is the interior of the house past that pillar to the right there that we saw previously. The door is right behind this group of people. Now this group of people in particular is really interesting because there are a few people that we don't know, but we have seen them in the behind the scenes about two weeks ago. So we're going to go back to those clips as well and just see those people again. But there's these two guys right here that are in front of who I assume is Mary and Martha, but could be... Someone else we're going to talk about in a second. Uh, but let's see this clip here. So you see those two guys right there. Now, one thing that I find really interesting about this scene is the coat that the, the woman on the left is wearing. This is extremely similar, while not being a perfect replica. <laughs> it is extremely similar to the, the kind of outer garment that Mother Mary wore in episode three of season three. So this may actually be Mother Mary. Remember, she went to Bethany last season. We haven't seen her in any of the behind the scenes yet. I don't know. This could be her or this could just be Mary and Martha. And she's wearing a, a similar cover. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, re I really don't know. But the two guys in the background, we're going to look at close-ups of them in a second from a previous behind-the-scenes video we got from Amber two weeks ago. The guy on the left and the guy on the right there, I think there's a potential for them to be Matthias and Barsabbas, who are the people who are chosen to take the place of Judas later on. Now, Matthias is the one that actually takes the place. Barsabbas is just in the running because he's been there since the beginning. Now, this would be kind of weird to introduce them now because we actually haven't seen them as characters throughout the entire series so far. In the Bible, we know that they were there from the very beginning of like John the Baptist baptizing Jesus, like all the way back to then. Like they, they were there. Um, and so we haven't seen them in the series so far. So it's kind of weird that they wouldn't be a part of any of these other big moments. And yet they're chosen to be the, the apostle that takes over Judas's place. Uh, yeah, just kind of weird, but let's keep on going. A little bit behind the scenes there, but see this actor here, this is a close up from one of the behind the scenes Instagram videos that we had two weeks ago, week 14. And then if we keep on going, we also see the other guy is there as well. So these are a pair that we're seeing not only in this scene, but also previously, uh, in a different scene entirely. 
Hey, real quick, if you're enjoying this video and you're not subscribed, we'd love your help to try to pass Rabbi Jason Sobel in subscribers. We're pretty far behind, but with your help, we could do it. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Right there. And I'm really skeptical. So someone just said in chat, what if it's young Mary and Elizabeth? So this is a possibility. Although I would really, I really don't see the evidence for that. Um, because these two in particular were part of a scene with all of our present characters looking the exact same. So like this, this clip that you're seeing right here is from um, Tamar, Amber's um, Instagram story where this is, um, it's all the, all the cast together and it's all of our present cast. So they wouldn't have a scene where it's present and past cast all together normally. Um, at least not like just chilling out on set like this because they'd be, they'd be done with a scene or going into a next scene or, or whatever else. Also, we'll keep in mind here as well. If we look back at this uh, section here, you see that this character is dressed like this. So black with that gray headband, keep that in mind because we're going to see it again and it is going to be either Martha or Mary. Um, and so, yeah, definitely, definitely not a flashback as far as I can tell. Uh, but this could be Mother Mary or it could just be Mary uh, wearing uh, a similar shawl. I don't know. So there's the close up on him. And the close-up on the other guy, we didn't get great pictures of them, but obviously you can see that same red undergarment. He's obviously taking his jacket off because it's hot out here. Now we move on to more of a market scene, uh, day 66. We've, we've gone from 65 to 67, now we're in 66. Um, and so we get like a little bit of a market scene, which I believe is probably in Bethany as well, but could be somewhere else. <laughs> We see that the merchant is very Asian looking, something that we don't see a ton of in in The Chosen so far. Now, obviously, near Asia, we would see Asian people. We would see um, Asian culture kind of a little bit in this area. Um, obviously, Paul went to Asia Minor and these different locations there as well. So uh, definitely we could see merchants from the east, like we talked about even in season two. Jesus talks about, uh, you know, I've had visitors from there, but I've never actually been to the far east myself. And Quintus talks about, um, talks about sushi, right? Bones and flesh. But here we see, um, you know, obviously an eastern looking person with eastern looking wares, um, with eastern looking clothing that we haven't really seen in The Chosen so far. So really interesting. <laughs> hey guys, I am literally in the farmer's market of my dreams. Look at all. Look at that soap. And this would probably be $30 today. And then there's spices over there. I dare to eat it. Thanks, baby. <laughs> Jillian's funny. So here's the out, outside of that uh, whole location there. We see a bunch of jars and different things that are going on there. Um, maybe this is some sort of medicine that they're trying to get for Lazarus or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, just thinking about it now, by the way, this scene previously that we looked at, that we looked at here with these guys, um, this could possibly be where Lazarus is raised because I believe they shot that a couple weeks ago. So that would make sense timeline to me, timeline wise to me that they'd be out here in this field. Cause it's kind of like a more fieldy area. It's not like in the city, obviously they wouldn't have a cemetery in the city, but this could be outside Bethany and they could be um, part of the, the raising of Lazarus being one of the witnesses that are there as well. Um, so that's definitely a possibility, but keep on going. So we see this here. Now we get a small scene here without much context just john uh talking to mary magdalene i believe uh asking where jesus is where's jesus so we can't really hear what they say there but we see john come out and say where's jesus mary magdalene replies to him but there's not a ton of um, kind of information there here's a way better shot of the inside of what we believe is lazarus's house um and so we see a bunch of these areas to sit and kind of recline on the floor this is like a living room kind of lounging area where, where they would just kind of chill and, and sit out i guess um really really cool this was cool as well 
<laughs> I wanted to add this in. Uh, so The Chosen was on the, the front cover of TV Guide this week. Um, so just really, really cool um, that they're getting more and more and more and more recognition. Again, we talked about this last week with them being one of the only SAG productions in the world that can film right now. It's very cool that they're getting more and more recognition and all these things are kind of stacking up, um, you know, one after another. So really, really cool. Here's another one. Obviously right now, even the chosen is on the CW. I believe it's premiering right now. So episode two is on tonight. They're going to keep on doing that every single week and keep on going. So hopefully the ratings for tonight on the CW are just as great as last week. Uh, they did really, really well. 520,000 viewers is really, 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 really good. Um, for a show that hasn't been seen on that channel before. Absolutely. Um, so here is where we get really interesting <laughs> in this section of of uh, of our behind the scenes. We see Jesus here, obviously, day 68. Now, pay attention to what we're seeing here. We're going to see Lazarus. And let me know when you think is this actually occurring. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Jonathan, can I see you take it's that mark? Yeah. 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 So let's go back there. We'll watch that again. And obviously we see Lazarus there. We see Jesus here. And I'm going to pause it throughout now. So if we go a little bit forward, we see our behind the scenes person back here. But we also see Martha and Mary. Okay. Now, Mary in this shot is not wearing the same clothes we saw her wearing. We saw that other woman wearing before. But Martha is. So this is definitely Martha that we saw in this previous scene uh, way back here. So this definitely looks more like Martha's uh, face shape right here on the side of her face. Even though we can't see her face, the face shape looks very much like Martha. She's also wearing that exact outfit, like I said before. So this is clearly a, a modern, present day, you know, during the time of, of Jesus and his, and his disciples scene, right? So we see um, she's wearing black. She's wearing that gray uh, kind of uh, head, uh, head wrap there. And then we see here, she's wearing the exact same thing. Lazarus is right here. <clears throat> now, I believe that this is most likely after the resurrection of Lazarus. Uh, th there could be some caveats to that. But my thinking is that Lazarus probably wouldn't look this healthy and like, like ready to go. Um, he would look way more disheveled. And an underlying sickness would have to be there because remember he's sick, right? So let's take a look at the scripture actually really, really quick. <clears throat> so if we go to the, the, the scripture for, for Lazarus, we see in John chapter 11, now a certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of, uh, the village of Mary and her sister, Martha. It was Mary who anointed the Lord with oil, which I think we're definitely going to see that, um, we're going to see that kind of play out as well. Um, and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother, Lazarus, was ill. Okay, so the sisters went out to him saying, Lord, uh, he whom you love is ill, but when Jesus heard it, this illness does not lead to death, for it is the glory of God, so that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus, so when he heard that Lazarus was ill, he stayed two days longer in the place where he was. Then after this, he said to his disciples, let us go to Judea again. Go to Judea, meaning go towards um, uh, basically a different area than what they thought. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, the Jews were just now seeking to stone you, and you are going to go there again? Jesus answered, are not 12 hours in the day? If anyone walks in the day, he does not stumble because he sees the light of this world. Talking about himself, the light of the world. But if anyone walks in the night, he stumbles because the light is not in him. He keeps on going. Our friend Lazarus has uh, has fallen asleep, but I go to waken him. Lord, if he has fallen asleep, he will recover. <laughs> so they're still not getting it. Now Jesus had spoken of his death, but they thought he meant taking rest in sleep. Then Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus has died. And for your sake, I am glad that I was not there so that you may believe. But let us go to him. So again, he's prophesying. He's saying Lazarus has died, even though no one's told him that. He knows through this. He knows that he was sick, but now he knows that he has died. He stayed two days intentionally so that he would get there four days after Lazarus is dead. This is like a, a massive, massive, massive section of what we've been talking about um, in terms of uh, Lazarus and all of that, right? So Lazarus needs to be sick previous to this, 
right? We need to see the anointing and all that stuff. I think that the black clothing is kind of like a 21st century add-in to this. Uh, even if they were sitting Shiva for Lazarus, um, most likely they wouldn't wear black. Like wearing black is not a, um, it's not a requirement for sitting Shiva. But obviously for a modern audience, this is going to immediately perk us up to seeing uh, that this is, you know, a funeral. It's a sad thing that's happening. Now, in a previous thing, if I, if I find the video clip, I'll put it in this section. Um, in the previous week, we actually saw another section where there was a whole row of people that were all wearing black. And they were all looking like they were mourning. So I think that was probably all of them sitting Shiva for Lazarus when he was dead. And of course, they would do that for a week, not just a day or, or, or whatever else, right? Like we, we celebrate a funeral during a day. They would sit Shiva for an entire week. So there's a big difference there, right? So of course, they would still be wearing these mourning clothing or whatever else uh, during that time. I don't think this is true, like I said, but, uh, but it could be the case for the chosen. Also, there's a little bit of a hint here if we keep on going. If we look right here in this corner, I know it's kind of hard to see. But there are some like disheveled clothes kind of off in this corner here. <clears throat> I don't know if that's just randomly there. My thought is that most likely it's it's there very importantly that these are Lazarus's grave clothes. So this is my thought. Um, is that Lazarus has his grave clothes here that he's taken off. He's just taken a rest and now he's woken up and now Jesus and Mary and Martha are going to have a moment all together after he's been resurrected. Um, especially because like we've, like we've heard from a bunch of people now in the chosen, they're shooting episodically. And so of course we're going to see them, um, you know, get closer and closer to the end of the series, which of course, uh, Lazarus is going to be a big portion of, like I say all the time, John chapter 11 is one of the most influential chapters for, um, for, the, the Bible in general, because this is the thing that really spurs on the, the death of Jesus, because they're like, before this, they wanted to stone him. They wanted to arrest him. They wanted to do all these things. But when Lazarus was raised from the dead, it caused such a commotion. It caused such a huge issue for them because so many people were following Jesus now that they were like, they were ready to kill him. They were ready to kill Lazarus. Like this was a really, really, really big deal for them. Um, for sure. So, uh, Someone pointed this out, so I'm going to pull it up really fast. Um, if we go to uh, the end of episode five of The Chosen, we can also see how the other mourners were actually clothed uh, during the time of Jesus, at least in The Chosen, as well. So let's go to this. Wait. So we can see here the mourners are wearing black and gray as well. So very similar to what we're seeing in, um, in, in the BTS that we're seeing here as well. So it makes a lot of sense to me that they are mourning Lazarus' death. These may be his grave clothes. I think all those kind of key things come together for me here. Also, Mary is not wearing uh, that shawl. So I think that more... Um, confirms my thought of the previous female being mother Mary in Lazarus's house before. Okay. That's just my thought. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Again, here's a little bit of a better shot of this scene uh, from Jelaine shooting it for the behind the scenes here. Right in. Okay. <laughs> Again, we see those grave clothes in the bottom. At least that's what I think they are. Could be something different. Could be something completely, you know, not not what I'm thinking. But it's just weird that that pile of clothes would be right there in this shot. I don't know. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, now, ignoring Jonathan and trying to look at everything else that's going on in this scene. We also see that there's some sort of bed behind Lazarus, right? Uh, a chair and like a bed, maybe like a bench that's there. We also see a bunch of like um, liquids, like either wine or different medicines or different things that maybe were, were here. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of really, really cool stuff here for sure. Now here's some behind the scenes of how they set up these different scenes. I just thought this was cool to add in. This is from Akis, the cinematographer.
And here's the outside of the city. Of course, they're using this for Bethany is what we, we assume they're using it for since they're shooting all of us all together. This is day 69, which means that they only have a few days left of filming, which is crazy. I know they've had to add a few extra days because obviously they've had some different things that have come up and all of that, but yeah. I want to see those other windows better. Anyway. So really, really cool. This looks like the outside of the scene that we were seeing before. So maybe the outside of Lazarus's house. And you can see how he's framing up the shot right here. Is it possible to hide? And here's the nighttime version of that. Snap. 11 to 5, dude. It's smacking. There we go. Now we get another scene here. Day 69, which shows John kind of walking away with Thomas. So maybe something happened with Thomas and he's trying to calm him down. I, I really can't tell what's going on here either. Context is like really missing. There's not any like biblical scenario that I can think about right off the top of my head. Let's just uh, let's take a moment, okay? So he, John says, let's just uh, take a moment. And he kind of walks away with Thomas. Maybe something happened with Rayma. I don't know. And then Judas says something. We also see that this is during the portion of the season where Big James is injured. So we see his head wrap right here. Uh, he's wearing that head wrap. We see Judas. We see uh, most of the apostles right here kind of hang out. We also see Tamar in the background. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know what's happening here. We see large lighting setup. Uh, they're probably shooting inside here, but they're showing all the setup for the lighting here. This one's really interesting. So they had a, a fun <clears throat> kind of get together day. I thought you guys might find this really interesting. So they did like a survivor challenge. Uh, so let's watch this real fast and then I'll explain a little bit why I'm actually talking about this. The winner of Survivor, the chosen edition, stir up the waters, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> so Danny won. She's kind of like the leader of the PAs, the production assistants. Um, pretty sure she's the head PA, um, and she kind of deals with all of that team. She's a big part of the crew. Why would I bring up this, right? <laughs> like, I normally don't talk about this kind of stuff. I don't really talk about what they do outside the set or, like, anything that's, like, not biblically accurate here. But let's just zoom in on the faces in this image and see if you if you see anything here. Anybody recognize anybody that that is, like, confusing? Yeah? No? Maybe? <laughs> if you're not picking up on what I'm putting down here, this is Dennis. He plays Jesse the brother of Simon the Zealot. So why is he here in the middle of a cast and crew survivor battle? Um, it just doesn't make sense, does it? Unless, unless he's filming something with them. <laughs> so it looks like we get the return of Jesse at some point this season. Um, again, if we're looking at the timeline, episodically shooting, probably nearing the end of this season, we're going to see the return of Jesse. And if you missed my episode last week, we also zoomed in on another character, which we got from behind the scenes of some of the, um, some of the other, uh, behind the scenes pictures and videos. And if you zoomed in on that one, we saw someone that looked remarkably similar to another character that may be returning as well. So a lot of different stuff, um, coming up. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, Jesse's awesome. Uh, I'm excited to see Dennis back if that's the case. Uh, but, you know, we just take this with a grain of salt. I mean, obviously the evidence is there for sure. But <laughs> hope you like this portion of our live stream. And if you want to see the full live stream along with full podcast episodes, go over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash the snipe life. That's the best way to help support us on this channel. Thank you so much. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.